Hi! It's New Year's Eve. And you know what that means. Work. In my case. New Year's is all about out with the old and in with the new. It's about redefining who you are and making promises you never keep about how you're going to change and better yourself. What I want to aim for for 2016 is to learn new things. So, two years ago, some friends of mine gave me this. With the argument that you should always learn new things. Without further ado, let's do this. Ooh, stickers, this just got better. Balloons and a pump, and instructions for a few different dinosaurs. I kind of want to make the stegosaurus. No, no, I don't. Well, a pterodactyl flies. So, I think that one wins. This is what we're making, guys. The flying thingy needs three balloons. Uh, I've got more than three. We're doing purple, green, and yellow. So how was 2015 for you? I'm not gonna lie, for me it was... quite hard. Is that five centimeters? I'm gonna say this. Not so much externally hard, but it's been internally hard. I've been struggling a lot with myself and my own demons and my own sort of future plans. I'm not gonna, not gonna get too into that because that's 2015, isn't it? And we're moving on. We've got the first balloon. 2015 was a lot about figuring out what I want and what I enjoy and what I want to do next. I think 2016 will hopefully be doing those things. See, I did this quiz on Facebook today that said that the theme for my next year is going to be perfection. Ooh. We knew that was going to happen, didn't we? So what, what are these new things I'm going to learn in 2016? Well, I'm going to attempt to not blow up this balloon too much. Get into a new field of work to actually build some form of career. I'm also gonna keep doing this. Balloon animals. No. But YouTube. Keep learning about editing, keep learning about how to express myself online. Maybe become a bit braver about what I post. Maybe I'll get some music up in here. Maybe I'll do some other stuff. Maybe I'll challenge myself a little bit more, which is scary, but fun. I'm kind of just hoping for a little bit of happiness. Which I don't think is a lot to ask, and I think that that is going to happen for me because you make your own happiness, don't you? Yes, you do. We've got three balloons, we only broke one so far, which I think is a success. Twist the ones. Nope. Jesus. Two. Why? This is what we have so far. Now, next balloon. <laughs> what? I'm guessing we're making balls. I mean, that's all I can see. Fine, fine, it's fine. They're gonna become buddies now. This is very, this is very suggestive. <laughs> I kind of lost track of the whole New Year's thing, but you get the point. Better yourself, be a happier person, blah blah blah. I'm making a dinosaur. We've got this, and what we need, as far as I can tell, is another one just like it. I inflated this balloon too much. Which is also a good lesson for the new year. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Give yourself a break. 
You know, you can't do everything. You have got too much pressure on yourself. You're gonna pop. The green balloon is not working for me. Now, this is another lesson for this year, I suppose, which is, if something's not working out, change it up. As much as you thought that the green balloon was the one for you, sometimes it just turns out that it's not. And maybe what you want in the first place isn't what's good for you. See, already this feels so much smoother. This balloon and I, we want the same things. We both want to become a wing for this dinosaur. How did I do it? Oh. terrified eyes because I think that's how he feels. And there you have it. Isn't he just majestic? <laughs> Maybe even the goals you set for yourself are gonna have to be adjusted a little bit along the way. I think I'll call him Puff. That's it for me this year. 2016 is gonna be great I'm sure. I hope you had a great time. I hope you try new things such as making balloon dinosaurs badly. See you next year.